many performers could ever boast of having a nine-decade career, but that's what makes Frank Sinatra such a legend. Yeah, the chairman of the board performed on more than 1,400 recordings, was awarded 31 gold, nine platinum, three double platinum, one triple platinum album by the Recording Industry Association of America. Now, old Blue Eyes himself, the legacy lives on, not just through his music, but through photos, with the release of Sinatra 100, honoring the 100th anniversary of his birth, right across the river here. Yes, and Frank mm -hmm. Sinatra Jr. is here to tell us all about it, along with the book's co-author, Charles Pignon. Hi. Well, Hi. How are you guys? I'm great. Thank you for wow. having us. So what, what, Frank, what made you decide to, that this was the right time? I know it's obviously his 100th, it's, it's his 100th anniversary. I didn't anniversary. decide. Oh, you didn't? No, that was done by a committee. Okay. A committee. Uh, why, okay. Why was it important, do you think, to do something like this? Uh, I think you'd better ask Charles that question. Okay. The, we've been planning for Frank Centennial to celebrate his 100th birthday for about five years. And we decided that at this time, uh, this would be great. The book is a celebration of his life and career. There are a lot of books coming out, but um, this one is sanctioned by the family. And it's also in his words. We, were, we found a bunch, a treasure trove of tapes that Frank had made talking about his life. So oh, wow. there are a lot of people that write books that yeah. never knew him or never met him. Yes. So we tried to match the pictures with the text in the book. And he's more popular than ever. Yeah. You know, it, it seems to me. There is no, we always like to say with Frank, there's no generation gaps. Yeah. It's just every generation seems to find him. Yeah. And uh, he's just as relevant today as he ever was. Well, Here's a photo. Yeah, shall we? In 1964, we have a picture of your, of your dad with Quincy Jones. Let's see if this one pops up. Who's a legend himself. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that photograph, Frank. That was taken at a recording studio, um, appears to be in California. Yeah. And Bill Basie was in the throes of making his second record album with Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. The orchestrator this time, instead of the late Neil Hefty, was Quincy Jones uh -huh. on the left. Uh, and you can see Quincy was a very young man. Looks like a little boy, yeah. Not Absolutely. like the other two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the next photo. Uh, it's a love in benefit. And this also shows kind of how philanthropic your dad was. Right, Frank? Uh, he was involved in many um, charitable organizations. That particular one in that photograph is very close to where he lived huh. in um, a town called Rancho Mirage, California. Uh -huh. Hmm. That and awesome. that was what that was all about. Wow. Um, your dad is, is, he liked a camera, too. And here is your dad in, in the 40s with a, with a camera. So he, was he a photographer himself? Not really. Mm -hmm. He just liked Not it. Really. That looks like a 16 millimeter movie camera. It looks like an old Bolex. Yeah. And uh, he was at that time getting active in movies. And uh, like so many people who did that sort of thing, mm -hmm. He was fascinated by the cinematography. Yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. that, let me just point out that that's one of the photos that you, you wouldn't see anywhere else it, because that was taken by Frank's mom, Nancy. Wow. And that was taken in Hoboken. And wow. we also have another book um, that's $1,000 that uh, Frank's granddaughter, Amanda, put together that's a limited edition book that has a lot of photos like that. We'll throw up the last picture of yeah. the family during the holidays as we, as we go to break. And tell us a little bit about this one, Frank. I don't know anything about that one because oh. I was not present. Oh, okay. I think that's 1962 or 63, uh -huh. and but that's you said Nancy the holidays and Tina. Were always yeah. the, we have gr the best memories were at holiday times. That's what somebody told us. <laughs> Probably a member of the committee. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a, a young person, they used to refer to it as Christmas time. Of course, yeah. now it has to be politically correct and called the holidays. I'll say Christmas yeah. time. Very good. So do I. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very Thanks, much. Guys. And an early Merry Christmas to yeah. both of you. We would make a great Christmas present. Hey, Today Show YouTube fans, thanks for checking out our channel. Here's how you subscribe. You click the button down here. Yeah, and then what? And then you click on any of the videos over here. And you can watch the latest celebrity interviews. We have highlights. You can watch us all the time. Digital exclusives, too. I didn't even know we had one. Oh, <laughs> ill. <laughs> ill. <laughs>